Hello, one and all. This is Lucas Lovelocks. Welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward, also known as our favorite math puzzle game. So, um, I didn't spend too much time working on this off recording. Um, I just took a bit of a break, which I think I needed to clear my head to get this one done. And um, these numbers could be kind of rewritten as like a percentage of the whole thing. So, 4 out of 20, let's clear this, is actually equal to 20% uh, of the whole thing. Um, the 5 over 20 is 25%. This was 5 over 20, so also 25%. Oops. And then this is actually 30%. Make that a bit clearer. Not very good at drawing with the mouse. Writing with the mouse. Um, so what that means is like the two numbers here should add up to 30% of the whole thing. The two numbers here should add up to 25% of the whole thing. Like the whole thing should add up to, I'm assuming, 100. So uh, basically that means these two numbers should add up to 25. So that means that this should be 10. Let's go back. 10 should be here, right? 10 plus 15 is 25, so 20, and that's 25% of 100. This should be, uh, um, shut up to 20, right? So this should be 8. Shut up to 25, so this will have to be 6. And then this is, this adds up to 30, so this has to be 9. Nailed it. Huh? Looks like I got it. The, yeah, no, all that, all that time and effort in university really paid off. That's amazing. Good work. Well, would you look at that? The color changed. Hmm, I wonder. Have a look, Sigma. Okay, what do we have? Before we do that, hold on. Uh, did we... I can't remember if we input this before. Okay, we did, right. Oh. That's weird that it's green again, though. Well, let's try. Oh, it's the password, okay. So sun, moon, moon, okay. This is, I knew it. You've seen a password like this before, haven't you, Luna? Oh, yes. In the AB room and the infirmary. Oh, I thought I thought she meant like she she saw exactly the same password. We'll open the safe, right? Yeah. That's oh, right. I don't have to memorize the passwords because they're always there. Okay, so we actually got the file on this one, and now we're getting the exit. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Um, let's check the arch. Okay, sun. Mm -hmm. That's a star. Completed. Nice. Yes. It opened. Look like at PDA. Okay, let's get our prizes. First, we've got a map. Oh, okay. at these arrows. Another one over here. Are those... Huh. I don't know what that is. Stairs? It says floor B. The one we found in the crew quarters said floor A. So did the one in the infirmary. Hmm. Hmm. Came down here using an elevator, right? Was this? I think this is where we came down, right? 
So that would make A the top floor. Seems weird. Don't the numbers usually count up from the bottom floor? Um, I guess we're going like underground, right? Well, look at it this way. A for above, B for below. Why does that seem ominous? Whatever. Moving on. Our next prize is... Let's see. Key cards. They have a moon on them. That means these are the moon cards the announcer was talking about. Now we can play the next AB game! Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can. They gave us two, just like the sun cards. I'm a solo, so I'll take one. That's fine with you guys, right? Sure, go for it. We've got two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one... Some kind of input device. Or is it some kind of input device? It has a keyboard on it. And a cable connected to the top. We can worry about that later. Might as well take it with us for now, though. Yeah, no kidding. And finally, the key. We can get out now. Yeah. This should unlock the exit. We still have these two. I guess we probably hang on to these because we could still use them. Maybe? No, I don't think so. No more screwing around. Let's move. I think we got everything we need from here, right? Excuse me one second. Just had to cough. Ugh. Okay, we need the key equipped. Where's the key? There it is. The doors lock. It says lock. <laughs> I love how explicit this game is sometimes. It's very quaint. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's. I agree. Three, two, one. One and a half. I mean, half. It now says open. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Huh? What's going on? Maybe someone from another team opened one of them. They must have found a moon card. Well, why the hell would they just go and open one of the doors on their own? We should get back upstairs. Yeah, no kidding. Whoever jumped the gun is probably in the warehouse. Right. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, okay. That is where we went. Okay. What do those arrows mean? Trying to think of who who would I don't I can't remember who went together, but who is it that would want to get to the next Abby Dex game? Maybe Clover? We leapt out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Temyoji, Dio, and Clover. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, but they're not in there. Hey! What the hell is this? Why'd you open one of the A-B rooms before the rest of us got back? Clover and I haven't done anything. Dio didn't feel like waiting, I guess. <laughs> you got a okay, problem? Okay, it was Dio. 
Dio, what's Dio? Dio's got a five. Yes, yes, I do have a problem. Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AB rooms. Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was common sense. Sing was right. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. What if they can't get back in time? No sooner were the words out of her mouth. Oh, thank goodness. You're all here. Did something happen? Yes. Uh oh. It's Quark, you see? He. What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. <gasps> it happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. This condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Hemioji shoved K aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran off after him. Quark! Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Temyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped him. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? <sighs> then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. So He's what is it then? Collapsed before. Well then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. Son of a bitch. This is serious. Yeah, great. How are we gonna call an ambulance? The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. I thought Luna was a nurse, right? Oh right. Well, we've got Luna. Luna? Uh, that's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Um, well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him, then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. So that thing could tell us what's wrong with Quark? Yes, I believe it can. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you need anything. Of course. Uh, what could have happened to him? The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine scanned Quark's body, and within seconds, his results lit up the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand, scrolled across it. And as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. Have you heard of this virus? Radical Six, I mean? Uh, yeah. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. Dio and Luna were two of the first people to investigate the infirmary. They must have seen the newspaper clipping that Quark found. Oh yeah, that's right. This is like this epidemic or something. I'd stayed behind after the AB game and they'd all split up and gone into different rooms. It seemed like one way or another everyone had heard about Radical Six. No, he can't. How 
could he have gotten infected? That's not possible. Something about the tone of his voice seemed strange. Why wasn't it possible? Had Temioji known about Radical Six before the rest of us? There must be something we can do! How can we cure him? Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should. He should be okay. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? Yeah, we looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't trust a damn thing you say. I'm asking Luna. I'm sorry, but Theo's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? You mean in the control room? Uh, all that had was a bunch of stuff for controlling the generator. I don't think anybody would put medicine in there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. Isn't there, like, medicine behind you? Like, what's what's that behind you? I mean, there was nothing of the sort in the archives. Archives, okay. Books and so on in abundance, but no medicine. Oh, God. Then he's... He's going to... Oh, God, no. Look, just to be sure, where did the three of you go? Some place called the Bee Garden. It was kind of like a park with trees and stuff. But... Yeah. No medicine. Maybe some medicinal plants? Maybe. Temioji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! He's up. Wait, what does he have in his hand? Oh, thank God. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... What the hell is he doing? Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... Escape! But... Now? Well... Like... This! Quark's hand moved like lightning. He grabbed hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight toward his heart. What? Stop! No! Let go! Let go of me! Ugh. Pretty tough for a kid. Hey, guys! I could use a hand here. Yeah, right. On it. Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Temyoji? What the hell are you doing? Get over here! Temyoji! Can you even hear me? Oh, right. Damn you! Bastards! Why won't you let me go? I have to get out of this body! They can't lock away the soul! Once my body's gone, my soul can escape! What the hell? Is like the disease playing with his mind? Please! You have to let me go! Let me go! I'm trapped here! Let me die! I have to die! Kill me! Somebody! Anybody! Kill me! Kill me! Jesus! Kill me! Is there some kind of like weird supernatural thing with Quark where he can like possess other bodies? <laughs> Jesus, this kid's lost it! Hey, somebody get that scalpel away from him! Good! Thanks, whoever that was. Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and writhe like he was possessed. What are we gonna do? We've gotta calm him down somehow. Luna. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? They're Soparil Beta. Soparil? 
That's the anesthetic. The one that's in our bracelets. Good. Perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay. Let me just... Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop! Stop! Oh. <sighs> Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. That was pretty intense, guys. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. Uh, all right, I, I guess we're good for now? Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, well, um... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. She is lying. Is that the truth? Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So when Park tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes, at least I think so. So what kind of virus is Radical Six? No one knows, apparently. Uh, what are you doing? I turned and followed Temyoji's gaze. Wait. Oh. Uh-oh. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. She looks like a, like, like a zombie or something. Like, look at her eyes and her mouth. Apparently, she had been the one to take it away from Quark. The longer I looked at her, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken it to protect him, or for some other more sinister reason. She didn't seem stable. In fact, she looked far more like Quark had a moment ago than I was entirely comfortable with. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She was not well. Alice? Hey, are you feeling okay? We're all going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. But they will. Soon. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. The virus will spread. Adults. Children. Everyone. Everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here! Wait! Alice! We were all too stunned to even try to restrain her. We just stood there as she spun around and leapt through the door. Damn it! Gotta chase after her. I shook myself, uh, shook myself and took off after her. But those few moments of hesitation had put too much distance and too many doors between us. Shit! Wh which way did she go? Right? Left? I was still trying to decide when everyone else poured out the infirmary. You lost her. Yeah, I, I don't know which way she went. Well, let's split up and look. 
Quickly. She can't have gotten too far. Right. Look, if you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Gotcha. Ten Mioji. I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. So did Alice get uh, infected with it as well? Sound good? Yeah. I stay here. Got it. All right, let's move, people. Get going. God, this, this is uh, this is getting crazy, guys. At Fi's command, we scattered, filtering off into the different doors. As I ran, I, I thought, where should I look for Alice? Perhaps the lounge would be a good bet? No one here, huh? Damn! Where did she go? No point in complaining. I just needed to look somewhere else. I turned and headed toward the exit. I'm just, I'm just imagining one of these times all the doors are going to close again. Oh, God. Archives. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So this is the archives, huh? K, Quark, and Alice searched this room. Damn. Nothing here either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad. If she loses it like Quark did, and nobody's around to stop her. Shit, I need to hurry. I decided to try the garden where Clover, Temioji, and Dio had gone after passing through their door. First thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere and the air was filled with the fresh scent of it growing, underlaid with the sweet dry tones of dead leaves underfoot. While the air outside had been dry and harsh, in here it was warm and wet, like a forest after a spring rain. Just like Clover said, plants and stuff everywhere. I walked slowly down the path, still slightly stunned. Most of the facility had been cold, dull metal, but this room was positively... verdant? Verdant? En français? Man, hard to believe there's something like this here. Also, is that like the outside sky or is that like a fake sky? What the hell is this even for? As strange as the garden was, Alice needed to be my priority. I reined my thoughts back and continued down off the path and into the grass. I'd only gone a few steps when I stopped short. 